road from uh, Bell Gorge to Adcock Gorge today. We're going to free camp outside Adcock Gorge. Um, there's meant to be a gravel pit. This is one of the worst road bits we've been on on the Gibbs so far. We've made it into Adcock Gorge. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's a little crashy sitting on the rock over there. I kind of hope he's the only one that's here so that I know where he is and he's over there. I can keep an eye on him. And uh, we might have a quick swim. This is 11. <laughs> Ah, Adcock Gorge. There's a freshie in here, by the way. <laughs> we just saw a jump in the water. <laughs> Aria's, Aria's my bait. Hey, look, there's proof Amanda swims in Colting. <laughs> <laughs> They are you cold or warm? I'm okay. Oh, something just was that you under me? Did you just put your foot under me? No. My, my feet are under me. Okay. <laughs> something just bumped under me. Is that you? Is that your yeah. foot? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you scared me. Hi. Oh, the crocodile is coming up underneath. Hey?
just showed you the water crossing um, and the four-wheel drive-ish kind of stuff um, at the last bit. So if you don't want to do that, you can park. There's an area, you'll see it, that you can park and walk it if you want. Or if you want to uh, take your vehicle a little bit further. There's nothing major. There's a few bouldery rocks, I guess. Um, but still, again, not much, nothing really major um, to don't navigate through. Yeah. But do just not... Don't un like you yeah. can, but just don't hit your caravan before you come Yeah. In. Even this road, the main road in here, is like, as you can see, <laughs> is not worth bringing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's not worth bringing your caravan in to unhitch. And I'll show you where we've unhitched at and camping up the night. Um, and come in just with your vehicle and then choose at that water crossing whether you park there and walk the rest or take the rest in but um, that's up to you but there's those options but definitely I mean like you can people have but I just, it's not worth it just unhitch unhitch your van and um, come in without the stress Daniel just showed you, <laughs> you come out from the, where the sign is and then take that left and there's a track in to a little cleared area um, and there's a couple of tracks. Three tracks uh, yeah, three, um, roads in, three roads in, they've like literally you can tell they've come and put a grader through and cleared the, the track in for you so um, yeah and you can camp here and um, leave your van unhitched here as well if you don't want to camp here but it's not uh, really nice. Hello, we are on the road again this morning. We've driven a whole 16 k's to the next stop, uh, which is Galvin's Gorge. There's a car park right on the side of the road and uh, it's like a 100 meter walk in. We've done this one before and it's beautiful. So it was always on the come back to list um, for a morning swim. Excited, Aria? That walk is a lot longer and a lot harder than we thought. Um, definitely not 100 meters. Maybe go with 500. I don't know. But yeah, there's some rock hopping and stuff that you got to do as well. But you bring you to this. swimming gorges on the grid. Yeah, and like, I don't know, it's one of those ones that we remember as being awesome and it still is. <laughs> so, rope swing. Yeah, rope swing, jumping with, from, those jump from the ledges, yeah. The walk in isn't too hard or too long or too hot, you know, any of those sorts of things. It's easy to get in and swim, like it's a few little rocks to sort of step in and super, then just swim super into. super pretty. And just, yeah, so green around it, but it's just gorgeous. 
So, like, there's, this one's like a 10 out of 10 for me in terms of ease of access and stuff like that. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this one is a must. All right, I'm at Manning Gorge. Um, Daniel has dropped me off and has given me two hours to go over and back because um, it's too far for him to walk uh, with his knee and ankle and it's too far for Aria as well. Um, I still wanted to come back and do it again. Um, so he's dropped me off, he's gone back and so gonna just chill out, have some lunch and hang out in the van while I do this. So I've got a two hour limit. I've got to get myself across first. Um, I didn't bring anything really, so that I didn't have to worry about it. Um, just a water bottle, hat, and then the GoPro, of course. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna swim with a shirt and swimmers on. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a long, hot walk. I remember that from last time, so a swim beforehand would be good, and a swim at the end. Better get going, otherwise I'll run out of time. and a bit slippery. <laughs> but I've got my keys on. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. Check it out. Alright. I made it across. Get to the middle rock. Um, and then you have to swim because it gets super deep. <laughs> so, yeah, made it across for me. Carrying my water bottle. Okay, so. I'm going to take some really <laughs> dodgy footage then <laughs> of me swimming. There we go. Um, and now I'm starting the walk. Alright, I've also been told you've got to look out for the um, white arrows painted on the rocks. Follow the path. Um, I forgot to tell you, there's an entry fee uh, for this as well. Uh, so it's ten dollars per person to day use, um, and you can camp here at Manning Gorge um, campground area. On the other side of the river obviously um for 15 dollars per person per night that's an unpowered unwatered blah 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 sorry um sorry just finding my way um uh yeah and then you've still got to pay your ten dollars on top of that uh so we're not camping here because i'm just doing this um as a quick little adventure and then we're going to move down the road a bit further and camp up. So we'll show you that when we get there. Obviously after I finish here at Manning Gorge. Uh, but yeah, you can choose to come and camp here. We did that last time we are here. Um, Den and I camped here with our swag and stuff. And it was really cool. Uh, but yeah, just this time we're gonna go and camp somewhere else. Change it up a little. I had to go back up that bit. That was the dodgiest bit of all. Quite steep. Alright, I've been walking for 40 minutes and I've just got, got just had my first glimpse of the waterfall but it's still a reasonable walk away. <laughs> oh, and I've been going at a reasonable pace, uh, much faster than I would if I was with Aria or my normal walks. Um, I'm like, pushing myself to make sure I get enough time um, to have a swim and so that I'm not trying to run back to be back in time. As far as I thought. 
that was only an extra like two minutes. Now I've just got to get around to where the waterfall is. So I just came from around there. And there she is. Doesn't seem to be many people here, which is cool. Might be more when I get there, but doesn't seem to be too many. I remember this bit from last time. <laughs> it's almost very cool. That is going to be a mission to get back up. <laughs> oh well. That's not a good challenge. Alrighty, hopefully you can hear me. I have to put my GoPro in the water, but um, 50 minutes it took me total to get here um, walking at a reasonable pace. Um, I'm really glad we didn't bring Aria. Um, and I'm just about out of battery, so I won't be able to show you anything on the way back. So I hope you enjoyed Manning Gorge, and uh, only do it if you really can do that walk because it's a bit strenuous. Well, things like that. If you don't want to do the last of the rock hopping, there is like a sandy beach area. And then you could get in and swim along and do the last little bit over to the waterfall. Alrighty, we are crossing the Barnett River. I'm walking across the other side so I can do them. I'm choosing the shallower path. And I'll show you the, it's pretty deep. So if you turn the electrics off in the caravan, with our battery being so low, and it's quite sandy as well. very very sandy and you can see the track out behind me gets quite, kind of deep I'll check in with Daniel and uh, find out what he um, went across in it's a little bit deep for the caravan not for the truck but uh, just to be safe uh, I had it uh, the central diff lock and the rear diff locks on and I just drove through in uh, first gear high range I could have full of drives and got it even on slower and stuff, but it was fine. Alright, we have made it along the road a bit further to Han River. There's a nice little free camp next to the river. Um, so once you, if you're coming from Broomside, cross over the river, just up the hill, and there's a right-hand track, and it brings you to a nice big open area. You can see the truck up the back there, um, and a few little sites dotted along. So if you're a bigger rig like us, we've gone up there because it's a bit uneven. Up there is a little bit flatter, um, and the rest of it has low branches these trees. Um, all the guys over there, they've snagged a good one, and they're our size. Um, if you are a camper trailer, rooftop tent, swag in it, that kind of thing, you can come down this 
track right next to the river. And when I show you, I'll get there and I'll show you the river. But uh, yes, yeah, small rigs only for this bit because there are a lot of low branches. It's also quite soft sand, um, so keep that in mind. We just came back to the van after our little chill in the uh, river on our chairs <laughs> and I was chatting to Daniel out, he was outside, I was just in the van, I looked out the door and the moon rising is spectacular. We're hoping we're going to, we're going to pop the drone up and hoping we'll be able to capture some of it, um, but it's unreal, it's so cool. Halfway along the gear, been noticing a lot of um, dust coming in to the snorkel. We've been driving along. Um, people have those cool snorkel socks I've seen around. Um, I'd like one of those. I asked at Mount Barnett Roadhouse yesterday and they said they didn't have any. So I've made a sacrifice. <laughs> I've sacrificed an old pair of my undies. I wear um, Under Armour. Yeah, I sacrificed an old pair with some rubber bands. And we've made their own snorkel sock. It um, looks bloody terrible. Looks terrible, but um, I think it should do the job. I've left the undies whole for now, just while we do a test and make sure it works. I'll probably cut all the excess material off and just be left with a snorkel size uh, cover. <laughs> Let's see how we go.